Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the solution to example 6 on buoyancy. And here we go. A board weighing 30 newtons per meter has a cross-sectional area of 0 0.005 square meter and a length of 3.4 meters. It is placed in oil of specific gravity 0.85 with one end attached to a frictionless pin and a portion of its length submerged in oil such that the pin is 1.5 meters above the oil surface. So compute the specific gravity of the board, compute the length of board submerged in oil, and determine the angle that the board makes with the vertical for equilibrium. So to solve this problem, let's have the figure first so that we can analyze this situation. So this is the board and one end is attached to a frictionless pin, the other end is partially submerged, then the pin is 1.5 meters above the oil surface and the length of the board is 3.4 meters with a cross-sectional area of 0 0.005 square meter. So we will denote the portion of the board that is submerged in oil as X. So therefore the length that is not submerged from this intersection with the oil surface and the frictionless pin is 3.4 minus X. So the weight acts at the center of the board. So its distance from A is half of 3.4, so that is 1.7. And because I denoted this with data, one of the requirements in the third question, so the moment arm of this weight is equal to 1.7 sine of data, as indicated in the figure. So the buoyant force acts at the center of the submerged portion X. So the distance from the point of application of the buoyant force to the other end is x over 2 or 0.5x. Since this angle is also theta, therefore its distance from the other end, horizontal distance from the other end, is 0.5x sine of theta as indicated in the figure. Therefore, the moment arm of the buoyant force from A, the distance, horizontal distance is, because this is 3.4 sine theta, then 3.4 sine theta minus 0.5 x sine theta. So this is 3.4 sine theta minus 0.5 x sine theta, or if we factor out sine theta, that's quantity 3.4 minus 0.5 x of sine theta. So that is ready for the analysis later. So for the first question, compute the specific gravity of the board. We can compute the weight of the board because its uniform weight is given, 30 newtons per meter, and its length is given also. So from the weight, we equate it to specific gravity of the board times specific weight of water. So that's the specific weight of the board times the volume of the board. But the weight is 30 newtons per meter times 3.4 meters. So that would be 102 newtons. So 102 newtons is specific gravity times 9,810 newtons per cubic meter, specific weight of water. Volume of the board is cross-sectional area 0 0.005 times length 3.4. So volume 0 0.005 times 3.4. So from here, we can compute the specific gravity of the board equal to 0.6116. For the second question, compute the length of the board submerged in oil. So the buoyant force is specific weight of oil, which is 0.85 times 9,810 newtons per cubic meter times volume. The volume is cross-sectional area 0 0.005 times length that is submerged, which is x. So buoyant force is 0.85 times 9,810 newtons per cubic meter times volume submerged 0 0.005 times x. So that would be 41.69 x. Then to solve for that x, we sum up moments about A equals 0. So take note, we have horizontal and vertical reactions at A. So we sum up moments about A so that those reactions are not involved in the moment summations. So summation moment A equals 0, clockwise positive, so clockwise equals counterclockwise. 
moment. So weight is 102, moment arm 1.7, sign theta equals buoyant force 41.69x, moment arm quantity 3.4 minus 0.5x, quantity times sign theta. So we can cancel sign theta. So let's simplify. 102 times 1.7 is 173.4. 41.69 x times 3.4 is 141.75 x. 41.69 x times negative 0.5 x is negative 20.845 x squared. Rearranging. So 20.845 x squared minus 141.75 x plus 173.4 equals 0. So solving for the roots of this quadratic equation gives us 5.201 meters which is an absurd value because it exceeds the length of the board. So the only acceptable value is 1.6, which is less than 3.4. So this is the length of the uh, board submerged in oil. And finally, for question number three, the angle that the board makes with the vertical for equilibrium. So we have here a right triangle from this intersection to pin A and this one horizontal then vertical cosine theta equals 1.5 over 3.4 minus x so cosine theta is 1.5 over 3.4 minus x and x is 1.6 so from there we can solve theta equal to 33.56 degrees so that's the solution to this problem and i hope that you were able to follow the explanations and the solutions